Hey everybody, it's Cobra Malot with the Next Voice 24-7, and as I do every day, I'm going to give you a few additional tips or points of view about today's post. Um, those of you that are going to ask me who is Mr. Green Jeans, well, Mr. Green Jeans was, Mr., uh, was Captain Kangaroo's uh, sidekick. And if you don't know who Captain Kangaroo is, you can probably Google him. Um, we we're talking about leadership today. And we were talking about how you can uh, basically establish your optimism through your state of mind. And, you know, I, I've talked a lot about optimism over the past couple of uh, posts, primarily because one of the things that I think is most important as, as, as you develop your leadership skills, as you develop your businesses as a young entrepreneur, um, as you try to establish teams, as you're building your team as a new manager that is rising into a new position, I think it's very important that you have to understand that you, you are the person that people will come to um, and really kind of seek the answers. They're going to look at you time and time again to get the clues, get the, get the lay of the land from how they read your um, mood, how they read your point of view about what the situation is, and how they read... Um, I guess what your interpretation of where the business is headed, um, where your frame, where your mind is, and potentially where you're going to take them, and you control your you control your optimism by your state of mind. And one of the things that I think that you can do um, is very very simple is by remaining positive is is to is to really surround yourself. Uh, with, with the right people and surround yourself with really really good people and positive people and, and one of the points that we made was um, or that I made was uh, to uh, you're going to reap what you sow and uh, in farm language that means whatever you're going to put in the ground you're going to get back up and so if you're if you're surrounding yourself with bad people obviously you're going to get a bad outcome um, if you're surrounding yourself with good people more than likely, you're going to get a positive, re positive response from the people when you're giving them um, tasks that you have to um, challenge them with, or you're giving them a um, a uh, big responsibility. You're going to get a positive response and a sense of optimism. You know, when they say um, one bad apple um, can spoil a whole bunch, it's it's literally true. So if you think about putting one bad seed or one bad apple into your environment, that could create a really negative environment. So why bother creating that environment by surrounding yourself with one negative person? What you want to do is try to create an environment where at least like-minded people are in that environment with you. So if you have the opportunity to create your team, select people that are like-minded or at least have the same goals and um, objectives that you do. So that they can have the same bright, optimistic points of view that whatever you're going to do, you're going to do it right, you're going to do it well, and you're going to do it um, with the point of view that you're going to win. And I think that is really important. And as you're, as you're starting your own business as a young entrepreneur, you want to make partnerships with people who have the same frame of mind as you do. They see your business very clearly. They're going to partner with you so that you can be successful. They're not looking to take. They're looking to give. Those are the kind of things that you're trying to get when you when you when I say you're going to reap what you sow. But if you put one bad apple in that mix, you put one bad person, one bad relationship in that mix, and the whole thing can be spoiled. So you can control the optimism and you can control the results by who you surround yourself with. The second thing um, that I wanted to point out in all those points was that you really can't do anything about uh, last year's crop. And what I mean by that is. If you're going to dwell on what happened last year, even last week, or even yesterday, then, then you're going to live in a world of misery all the time. And, what, and, and why I say that is because you can't do anything about what happened yesterday. You can't do anything about the results last year. All you can do is learn from what happened. Sometimes that's a positive thing. You can learn about all the positive things that happened and, and what you can do to even make them better moving ahead. But if you've made mistakes and you've made negative things, uh, and negative things have come out of the situation, you've got to be able to observe them objectively and then decide what are you going to do this year, what are you going to do this week, what are you going to do today differently than I did 
than it did before so that I can make sure that it doesn't happen again. So don't worry about last year's crop. Don't worry about last week, <laughs> yesterday. Worry about what you can do tomorrow. What you, worry about what you can do this year. That's when you're being effective. That's when you're an effective leader. That's when you're an effective manager. That's when you're effect, an effective emerging leader. And that's certainly when you're an effective entrepreneur. Because if you dwell on the past, that's where you're going to stay. You're going to stay back there. You're not moving forward. The, the last point that I really want to kind of move, move forward with you is, um, as I just kind of admonished you, is to, is, to, is to be easy on yourself. And it doesn't mean be soft and give yourself a lot of leeway. What that really means is um, uh, you need to be able to um, create an environment that's very positive. You know, um, happy talk <laughs> gives you a happy talk. Um, and bad talk destroys. So if you're going to give yourself um, a lot of negative feedback or you're going to surround yourself with people that are going to give you a lot of negative feedback, that stuff's just going to fester. But if you're going to give yourself um, an optimistic point of view and if you're going to give yourself um, positive feedback, even in those negative situations, what, what, what did I do right and then what can I do better is a, is a lot different than saying this is where you suck and this is where you really blew it. It's the same kind of it's the same kind of um, communication. It's just the phrasing's different, and 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 the way someone will receive it is is very very different. So those are the things that I would really want you to point. I would really want to point out to you in in the post, and I would encourage you to go back and read those things. Um, it's important that whatever you do, that you're surrounding yourself with people who want to succeed with you. And you're surrounding yourself with people that want you to be optimistic, and that you want to be optimistic. Who wants to walk around thinking they're going to lose? I certainly don't think that I want to lose. If I did that, I'd have lost already. I think that I want to win. You should think that you want to win, and you should be around people that, that think that, that they want to win. Now go find out who, who Mr. Green Jeans is. Go find out who Captain Kangaroo is. It's Thursday. One more day is for Friday. Everybody's going to end up working someday over the some some someday on Saturday or Sunday, um, but it, it is a great day. My challenge to you today is to go do something that is is really going to encourage you to be optimistic about what you are doing in your career, in your personal life, or in the business that you're creating. That's the first challenge. The second challenge is I'm going to keep encouraging you to think about the leaders those optimistic leaders that you want to spend time with or learn from because I want to bring them to you and I want to make sure that they have an opportunity to share time and spend time with you and answer your questions and get a chance to talk and get to know you. So go out and make a great Thursday. Go out there and do something incredibly optimistic and make someone really, really happy. <laughs> have a great one. Thanks. We'll talk to you.